Hi, this is the Black Bear Prepper, and as promised, we're going to be talking about backpacks today. There's going to be two videos in this particular part of backpacks. Um, one is going to be talking about backpacks, and our next video will be talking about fitting and some tips on how to take one on and off. So, kind of in those areas. So, the first one we're going to be talking about is basically the three types of backpacks that are out there right now. Now, is there a wider range of backpacks? There's hundreds and hundreds of backpack brands and types and styles and everything else. I really want to talk about what's best for scouts, the size for scouts, and adjustability. So first we get into what we call our ultra lightweight backpacks. Now these backpacks, um, these backpacks are going to be in the 30 to 55 liter range. Um, they're going to be very light framed. You know, all your suspension is going to be very light. You can find backpacks that do not have frames in this size. No metal in them whatsoever. I do not recommend getting a backpack without a frame. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. And it's basically, when you watch the next video on fitting and adjusting, watch the part where I talk about the load straps, which are what these guys are up here. Without any support, that load strap just gets pulled over to your shoulder and does not support you. So I'm definitely against frameless backpacks, especially for scouts. The other thing I don't like about a um, pack that is a ultra lightweight pack is that how flexible the hip belts are. It's definitely too flexible for me. So then we get into the other problem, which is storage. This particular pack has one pocket, main pocket right here, and you slide all the way everything down to the bottom. If I want to get anything off the bottom, I have to pull everything out of the pack to get to the bottom. So definitely not my preferable design that I would like to see. Now it does have some, it has a helmet pocket out here, which a lot of the lighter weight ones won't. You're going to be in about the three pound, the three and a half pound range for a pack like this gonna pay about 150 bucks. Not a recommendation that I would make for scouts. And that was a 55 liter plus 10, and we'll talk about what that means in a second. Now, this particular pack here is um, one of my favorite packs. It's called the Deuter, and it's D-E-U-T-E-R, uh, Deuter, Deuter whatever you want to say. These are my favorite backpacks for scouts, and I'll explain why in a second. But they have a wide range of designs and styles for everybody, and they tend to fit most people. So in this particular pack, we've moved up to what they call, that's the first one was their ATC con, or, uh, Zero, which is their lightweight pack. We get into their ATC Light or Air Contact Light Packs. This has a similar, suspension system but a heavier duty hip belt and heavy duty sh shoulder pads I really like that now in the summertime this channel right here the air contact channel allows air to move through there's a lot of packs that do the same thing I'm against the packs that have the your backpack off your back so in other words there's a big piece of mesh right here and the pack stays up about this far that's bringing the pack farther away from your back and causes more of a pendulum effect the pack tends to weigh more with larger weights now this particular pack we move up into a 65 plus 10 um, so you get a lot of features you get that you can crush this pack down to very very small and for an extra couple pounds you get instead of being able to carry 25 30 pounds you're closer to the 35, 40 pound mark in this pack, which is about where we want to be. And then we, because it's a 65 liter, we can expand it out to get a little bit more weight for snow camping. Okay, so the other really nice thing is that kids grow. Okay, so buying them a pack today and then turning around and having to buy a pack for them six months later or a year later, if we're dealing with Gregory packs, which are very, uh, you know, size specific, that's nothing wrong. The Gregory backpacks are great. So are the, some of the other backpacks out there. But as they grow, they're going to change. Their bodies are going to change. And their actual height of their body is going to change. Now, with the Deuter system, you pop it up. You can adjust all the way from down here, basically to a girl size pack, 
all the way up to a full-size men's pack. Now this is a pack that my boy wears, my daughters wore this pack, and I've worn this pack. Great pack, nothing wrong with it. It just allows me to have massive adjustments. So as the, as the kids grow, I'm not buying a new pack every couple years. This is going to cost you a couple hundred bucks. So we don't want to sit there and get rid of a pack right off the bat because it, they grew out of it. Again, we have an aluminum frame. I'm a big fan of their system, which is a cross frame system. The bar is actually cross, which allows the, the waist belt and the shoulder straps to pivot independently, which I really like. You have um, really nice breathable mesh in here that holds up really well, and I'm against memory foam for scouts. Memory foam is great. I have memory foam packs. The problem is they mimic to you. So if you want to loan it to a friend, it's not going to be comfortable for them. As they grow and change shape, it's not going to fit for them. So we want to have a pack that doesn't have the memory foam per se. This does memorize a little bit to you, but it's a lot more forgiving than some of the other packs. The other thing that's really nice here, and I don't know if we can see this, is that these are our load straps. They're meant to be at a 45 degree angle off your top here. And this has the ability to go either the top load straps or hook it into a smaller load strap. And as you get to an adult and you don't want to need this, you can just cut it off for weight savings wise. But this allows me to be able to put it on, you know, an 11 year old boy or a full size adult and just adjust it to that. Again, that massive adjustability. The other thing I highly recommend is a strap on the inside that pulls, see how we've got a, a gear reduction type system here we got going on? So now I'm pulling, which is a much more common pull, is pulling to the center of the pack versus trying to pull away. So now we're pulling up, which is a much stronger part of your body that you're able to use. So these packs, when you're adjusting them, you clip and then you pull from the outside in. And because we're using that gear reduction or that pulley almost type system, you know, we're getting a much stronger pull being able to hold a lot more weight with less muscle. So great for kids, great for smaller women. Most packs do come in a small frame or women's style and adult. Sometimes as they're younger kids, even if we're getting down in 11 year olds, sometimes buying them a women's specific pack will be a good idea because the reason that the pack is smaller and the frame size is smaller. So we'll talk about sizing here in a few minutes and what that means. Now, this, like I said, one of my favorite packs, lots of strapability. Now we have a pocket on the bottom for our, um, for our sleeping bag. We have some side pouches, things like that. And we have a few more pouches on top. So now we have three areas where we can separate out gear one underneath one on and two on top to separate out and I, as i always talk about packing packs we pack them based on usability items so i want to be able to have my rain gear or my headlamp or my first aid kit all those items i can put up top and they're easy to get to even with a uh, with a pack cover on third pack so that's where i tell people most of the time to buy in to that medium weight pack so not an ultra light and not a heavy weight uh, for adults this is the pack i probably use more more often than than ever is the air contact 6510 now this is not the light duty version like we were just talking about this pack is designed to hold up to about 55 to 60 pounds i've had 65 pounds in this pack very very comfortable um, lots of storage capabilities and easy to get into we now have a full U pocket that allows us to be able to get into, okay? The other thing that's really nice is we have a full size water bladder pouch. Now all the packs I just showed you and you should be looking for packs that have water bladder pouches. So the ability to put like a Camelback style system inside. So that will slide down. I like these because they're low in the pack. Allows you to get it all the way down in there and then run your hose outside the pack to U. We also have a heavy duty, um, you know, the fabric is a lot more heavy duty. So if you're doing a lot of guiding with the boys, you know, I, I've been on 11 trips this year. So having a pack that's light duty just doesn't hold up for me. All the guiding I did, I'd much rather have a pack that's gonna hold up. Same thing with a tent. Something's gonna hold up over time than break down very quickly. So we have a sleeping bag pouch. We have our 
you know, main compartment that I can actually stack clothes in here if I was using it maybe as a travel pack, if I was going to a lot of different hostels, things like that. Now the suspension system, very similar in adjustability. We still pull our little strap here and we can slide it up and down. But you notice this is air contact. So instead of it being the air contact light where we have a lot of air movement here, we're getting the pack as close to our pack, our back as possible. So really super heavy duty waist belt. You'll notice how it's about twice as thick and you'll notice it actually wiggles back and forth. It allows you as you move to be able to hold those bigger weights without it tossing around. Everything's a little bigger. Buckles are a little bigger. Your shoulder straps are a little bigger. Again, we have the multi adjustments on our load straps where we have the two points that can be tied into. We have extra pockets on the side for, um, for a maps or a lot of times I'll put my spoon and things like that. Something I don't need to get to right away when I'm on the trail, but I might want to be able to separate it out. I'll put it in a little Ziploc or something like that. And nice big pouches on both sides for water bottles or I usually put my tent poles in there. I also attach these. This is Deuter's uh, side pouch system, which is really nice uh, in the fact of that you can strap them on, you don't need them, you take them off. But it's nice if I'm going on maybe an overnighter where I'm only hiking a mile or so, so I'm not really caring about weight. I'm just caring about organization. So the other thing that's real nice is we have a cutout here. You can't really see it, but it domes out for your head. So the back of your pack is not smacking you in the back of the head. Absolutely my favorite pack of all time. You know, lots of adjustability, lots of being able to crush it down so it even, you know, won't go in there. Now when we deal with the 65 plus 10 scenario, the 10 is this extra part right here on top, and I'll turn it to the side here. We have this area up top, so this would be your 65, and then you have an expandable area for an extra 10 liters. And remember, we want to see a pack that is anywhere in the 55 to 65 range for most scouts. That does not mean it's the biggest pack you're going to need. I carry an 80 liter in the wintertime, so I have lots of room for clothing. And then one other nice thing you get in this particular pack, as you'll see it says the rain, rain cover. If you unzip here on the bottom, you have a rain cover that can be pulled in and out. So you're not using trash bags and keep your gear ready. Uh, one thing I do, uh, we have the duck bags, duck bags by REI. That's a thing, I have a bunch of these. Uh, they basically are just rain covers for your pack. They'll have a hole on the very bottom. The hole is to let water out the bottom, so if it collects in the bottom, it comes out. So make sure that's the way it goes. And then this is one designed for an 80 liter pack that will stretch over the whole entire pack and actually has it's basically like a shower cap for your backpack. So it's adjustable. Tape seams, again, we want those tape seams so we're not letting any moisture into the pack and being able to be just stuffed right back down in your bag. Um, you know, this is an important thing. Buy a good quality pack. Have your boys save up for it. These should be things that are bought during Christmas and birthdays. These items are not cheap. Um, it's not something we really want to borrow per se. You can for the first little bit to kind of see what you like and some places do rent. But most of the time I like to have a pack that I use that it's actually set to me. So this is the Black Bear Prepper. As always, like, subscribe, and share. You know, we need to get this out to other people and make sure the other scout troops are hearing this. This does go along with our November round table. So if you missed November's round table, this is the video that's going to do that, plus with the tent videos that you've already seen. So as always, have a great day.